focal length, focal distance, depth of field, aperture speed, mount type, and lens diameter. It can all be a little confusing when looking at buying a new lens. In this video, I'll walk you through identifying and understanding all the different information that are printed on the lens, hopefully to help you make a better decisions when buying a new lens. The lens speed, its aperture size, directly impact the performance of the lens, and you'll see a big price difference between fast and slow lenses. The lens aperture size, or its speed, can be found around the edge of the lens. This lens, for example, is a 2.8, so it will be considered a fast lens. On zoom lenses, you may find a range. This is a 100 to 400 zoom lens. I'll talk about focal length in a minute. But here you can see that the aperture has a range from 4.5 to 5.6. This means that this lens has a maximum aperture of 4.5 at 100 millimeter and a maximum aperture of 5.6 at 400 millimeter. This lens is considered a slow lens. The focal length affects the field of view and magnification of the image. A shorter focal length results in a wider field of view or wide angle, while a longer focal length gives a narrower zoomed in view. Lenses with a focal length below 18 mm are considered wide angle, while lenses above 85 mm are telephoto lenses. You can typically find the focal length written in a couple of different places on the lens. Prime lenses have a fixed focal length, like this 14 mm, but you can buy prime lenses in a variety of focal lengths. Zoom lenses, on the other hand, can vary or change their focal length. This one can go from 24 millimeters to 70 millimeters. This one can go from 100 millimeters to 400 millimeters. A zoom lens will also have the focal length displayed on the zoom ring or body of the camera so that you can identify your current focal length. These numbers here are the focal distance. The focal distance is the distance between the sensor and the focus point. The white markings are in meters, while the green are in feet. When buying a new lens, you can look at the minimum focal distance to know how close to an object you can be and still be in focus. Macro lenses, for example, allow you to get very close and give you the ability to film very small subjects. Here you can see that this macro lens has a minimum focal distance of 0.3 meters, or less than 1 feet. While this one can only focus subjects that are at least six feet away, or 1.8 meters. Some lenses will also display the depth of field based on your aperture setting. So how deep the depth of field is at any aperture setting. The last two markings worth noting are the mount type and the lens diameter. These Canon lenses use an EF mount, so you would need to make sure that your camera is equipped with an EF mount, or you'll need to buy an adapter. In my case, I like to shoot using Sony cameras. Sony uses an E-mount, so I have an EF to E-mount adapter in order to use my Canon lenses. The diameter indicates the diameter of the threads in front of the lens. Those are important if you plan on attaching any type of filters or accessories like a matte box, for example. This ND filter is an 82 millimeter filter and will fit in front of this lens, but it will be too big to fit on this one. I hope this information was helpful in making informed decisions on what lenses would fit your needs. Thank you for watching this video until the end. As a token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you my free camera setting cheat sheet. Look for the link below to download your free cheat sheet. Thanks again and happy filming.